Okay, so to get started, you should find your material app or get material app or it's material app dot router if you use go router. Anyway, you have to find your material app. And once you find this, you have to have this show performance overlay true. And once you do that, let's go ahead and restart our app. And as app the restarts, we'll see that there is this little graph over there that shows up and there are spikes over there that shows up. So you're going to learn about them, the graph, the spikes, what do they mean? Now, the very first thing over here, we'll see that there are two things, which is called raster max and UI max. Okay. Now we're going to start with from UI max, which will make our life easy and it would be easy to understand as well. Now, one thing UI max over here refers how long it takes to build a widget tree. Widget tree means you will have a lot of widgets, one inside another, nested widgets, like that's how the flutter works. So once you have that one, so you ha it has to be built, right? So UI Max tells you that, okay, how long it takes to build a certain widget tree. And in this case, we will see two information. One is this millisecond per frame. Now over here, we see 248 milliseconds, okay? So for a frame, it took 248 milliseconds. I mean, that's mind blowing because in general, you will have 60 FPS uh, based on your refresh rate. So that means that 16 milliseconds per frame over here, it's almost double, okay, more than double. So that means it took like 33 milliseconds per frame. Okay, so it, it's a lot of time. And then we also see the average. Now the average one is good. It, it tells you like 6.6 .6 milliseconds per frame once again per frame in general you should take 16 milliseconds so we do see that the average is very low now now we see the average is very low okay that's good news now let's look at this graph well it looks like a little graph over here and what does this graph mean now the high there in the graph you have this blue lines okay the blue lines means that actually the highest the blue line the mu mean that in certain time during loading how long it took to load that certain or how long actually how long it took to build that widget tree so when we are here in our app most probably we are showing this thing on the screen that means before showing we're building the widget tree so how long it took to build that widget tree so here uh, the highest pretty much maybe this one and it is 248 milliseconds so for that frame to be built or for that widget to be built it took 240 milliseconds that's a long time and there's another one so it happened two places in our app so when the app was loading and in other places we also see a little bit but not as strong or as big as this okay so that's the first thing so and in other places we also see that the line is still pretty dense so it was always busy building the tree that means that either we are doing animation or we are doing complex widget rendering. So let's restart it again and you'll see that, that how this blue lines first start to be very uh, short and then they start to be very big so over here. So as you see that when we are loading or showing the images actually pretty much at that time it was very high and then it came down. Okay, so That means that at that moment the widget build it took a lot of time. Okay, cool. And the other thing you have to know, like for example, uh, this green line. So green lines actually shows that your screen is always being updated. Okay, as soon as, or as long as it's being updated, it keeps moving, okay? Because your new things are connected, new things are coming onto the UI, so they should be rendered. Now that's, speaking of that one, we're gonna go back to this raster max. Let's take a look at it again, because it's blocked by this blue line. Now I'm gonna restart it so that uh, we understand it clearly like raster max okay all right cool so what is raster max now before what is raster max we're gonna talk about ui max again a little bit because ui max means when the widget tree is being built so when a widget tree is being built how long it takes and for for a frame that widget tree to be built how long it takes and uh, not only that the highest uh, frame uh, the highest time took per frame and the average time on the other hand raster max raster means how long raster means actually over here that when the pixels are drawing on the screen remember these are pixels being drawn on the screen okay so there is one frame for that frame to draw that pixel on the screen that took 
9.8 milliseconds. It could be not just one, it could be more than one frame, okay? Like for example, in this case, we see this one. So maybe most probably during that time, rendering was difficult and uh, it took a lot of time or it could be somewhere here. We don't know because they look almost similar, but you get the idea. But on the other hand, we do see that average rendering uh, time for frame, which is 1.5 milliseconds, which is good. Once again, per frame, you should not take more than 16. So in terms of average screen or average frame rendering, actually, we are good. But then the spikes are not good. But if you have an app, if you have to load things, then you will have spikes, especially at the beginning when you load your app, okay? But once the loading is done and you use your app or the navigate through the app, this, this kind of spikes should be gone. And even if you have, there should be one or two, not more than that. If you have more than one or two, the app would be very laggy. So now over here, as you see that, as I'm doing, the new uh, frame is being rendered on the screen, but all the spikes are gone. The reason is because, well, we already built the widget tree, so they're buffered. So there shouldn't be too much information that we should render, we should build. And then at the same time, there, there aren't many frames uh, or pixels actually that we should render again on the screen or they're buffered. So as you see that these lines are pretty smooth, these lines are pretty smooth over here. So that's why I said that once your app is loaded and if you see these lines are smooth, then you are good to go actually. So as you see that the app is not laggy, okay, cool. And the other thing, now if I navigate to a screen, a new screen from here, we'll see that there is a spike. We'll see that right now. Let's go ahead and see that. For example, I go over here and we see that there is immediate spike, both in terms of uh, uh, rendering and raster. The reason is because when you go to a new screen, you see, remember it was there early. When you go to a new screen, you're, you have to build the widget tree completely from the beginning, right? So that's why. Uh, it, it takes a long time as you saw early it took a long time and then the raster max was high as well So let's say it one more time as you see over here So from 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 this screen we came to this screen and then during that moment there was this high spike Okay, let's uh, see it again. So over here. We do see this one and now from this screen We'll go to this home screen. So let's click on that and as I click over here uh, we'll see right after this blue line, the green line, right after this green line, we'll see a spike. So over here, right? Beautiful. So that means that when I tried to come to this home page from here, I came here. So the spike started. That means it was trying to build, build a lot of stuff. Okay. And not only that, at that time, we see that the whole moment, uh, the GPU, GPU was busy drawing on the screen and after that after this moment you see that's uh, that's almost gone and they, they started again for some reason most probably the bottom items uh, or somewhere else it, it, it needed to draw okay but the idea is when you navigate between screens then you'll have both raster max and ui max they'll have very high uh value but you should always look at the value the average value okay so let's look at the screen over here this one Okay, so as we are loading, as you see, the images are being updated. This moves as well. That means that your new pixels are coming, new screens are coming. So at that moment, we also see that the GPU is busy, all right? And CPU, of course, also busy because if your new image is coming, you have an image in the widget tree, so you have to build the tree and then send these pixels to render on the UI. So raster and UI Max, they're all very busy. Another example we'll see over here, so my orders. So there are heavy rendering going on over here. As you see that there are a lot of spikes in this space, right? So most probably I need to optimize this one, at least the initial loading. But why it takes a long time, you'll see that actually I do have a shimmering screen. Now shimmering is expensive. Okay, we do. As you see that there is early a shimmering. So shimmering took this amount of UI max and render max, okay? Shimmer is expensive. So in general, other part, we don't have much problem, okay? As you see that now, you keep scrolling, both spikes gone from both max and UI. All right, so that's how you can analyze whether your app is laggy or not. So this line tells you where it's laggy. And if they're crucial and serious, then you should take steps to remove that. Now, as I come over here, I see that the shimmering takes a long time. It may make the UI a little uh, 
laggy. So my job would be either I optimize the shimmering or use something better. For example, loading screen. That could be much better because the shimmering is expensive because a lot of new screens are being, a lot of new pixels are being drawn on the screen uh, all the time. Okay. Anyway, so if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button.